Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing something new. We're going to be reviewing a product. Um, so today I have a product that I've been using since Thanksgiving. That's a long time. Um, but I have loved this product ever since I got it. I just haven't gotten around to giving it a product review. And today, if I can reach it, oh I can't. We're gonna be reviewing the face halo. So I got the face halo in November um, for during their Thanksgiving Black Friday sale. Um, and it was like a two for one something. It was like reduced price. I don't know. It was like under $30. Um, and I thought of the long term and how many makeup pads I would be saving if I didn't be spending five dollars on every single pack and there's only like 30 to 40 sheets in it and you can reuse one of these and there's three in a pack 200 times so I am starting to become like waste conscious just because there's a whole lot of trash in the world and you don't really realize it and then you think about face wipes and if you're someone like me I don't wear makeup all the time but I wear makeup enough that it starts to add up and it gets really expensive so I saw Chloe talking about these and because she's like their ambassador and like joined their program or whatever and I was kind of skeptical because all you have to do is add water to it and you're uh -huh. like what? all I have to do is add water that does seem a little unbelievable. And because it's a microfiber cloth, it's able to pick up um, all of your little makeup. Um, so mine is dirty, um, and I don't know if any of you either have used it, or if you know Face Halo, how to get eyelash glue out of this. That's my only one little con about it, is there's like two, can you see them? There's two pretty, pretty big chunks of eyelash glue in there. Um, and there's some like on the other side, there's like little specks, but I just don't know how to get it out. I, I mean, I use like dish soap to wash these out. You can throw them in the di or not dishwasher. You can throw them in the laundry. It's like what it says on the pack, but that just takes a whole lot more than I really want to do. So I just wash it in the sink and it's really easy. And then you just hang it up and you're good for the next day um but that's my only one con and i get because that it is white that it's going to pick up different colors from like makeup so i use sometimes like blue eyeshadow or even like liner it kind of stains it sometimes so i don't know if they're going to come out with like a a black style maybe that'd be cool um but i mean this is kind of cute just like the white on black but yeah, so that is my only con is that it picks up color and I cannot get this eyelash glue out. I don't know if I should cut it, if that's really stupid and not the right thing to do, but feel free to leave suggestions. Um, and yeah, I think the pros totally outweigh the cons. I mean, I think when I was looking at them most recently, their packs for three were $15, which is like $5 per thing. Um, and it's $200 technically 200 uses in one pad um so i think that is completely so much better than a normal traditional makeup wipe that you buy from like in a pack in a grocery store or like makeup store whatever you want um but yeah it really does take off everything i'm like amazed with how much it takes off like my actual eye makeup because with mascaras and everything it can really get stuck in your lashes and all you're supposed to do is just like hold it down for a couple of seconds and then just wipe it away and it should mostly be gone. Um, I use mine like, I do like two wipes over just to make sure I get everything off my face. Um, and then I guess you can use like toners and stuff afterwards to really make sure it's clean. But even when I did that, I did like a test run to see like how much really came off. There was only like the smallest bit on the actual like um, toner swab that I used. So yeah, we're gonna do a little demo. Um, I've got this fancy bowl of water. My face halo. So I put it in a clear bowl just so you can see people, people of the internet. So you just kind of, I mean, this you do it in the sink. I just do it until it's like real wet. So 
so it's like damp Ooh. it's wet enough that it drops when I squeeze it really hard um, I'm gonna take off my lashes first cuz duh oh that kind of hurt okay so we're gonna start with the eyes first just so you can really see how much it gets off and then we'll go from there that's half of my face done and this is just one side pretty gross and then the other side you have for the rest of your face I'm just gonna wet it a little bit more here you can even see like off. when you use soap and you're like cleaning it it's the most amazing seeing it's the most amazing thing seeing all of the makeup like run out of it it's like the beauty blender when you wash your beauty blender and you see all your foundation run out you're like ah. it's like the same thing and now my clean face so some things that i want to talk through about the face halo are that it's totally eco-friendly you don't feel like you're wasting so many makeup removing wipes um, it fits literally anywhere where you travel you don't have to check a bunch of things to make sure you have all of your makeup removals you only have one pad which is crazy um, the fact that you can use it with water you don't need to use it with soap I mean you need soap to clean it but you don't need to put soap on your face and people who are like hypoallergenic and are very sensitive skin um, this means that you don't have to interfere with like weird soaps on your face and don't have to worry about that which I think is a total game changer um, and I just really love the eco-friendly part of it people can sometimes use up to two wipes like two makeup wipes for their face um, and because I use so much heavy eye makeup I think this is crazy that both the front and back can take care of my entire face and this is one pad um, which is entirely insane um, the only cons that I have is that like eyelash glue gets stuck in it and then it kind of changes color depending on what type of makeup you're wearing i have gotten to a point now where i like don't clean it as often as when i used to when i first got it so that could be like a reason behind why the color um has faded so like since it's not bright white anymore um so that's just it could just lie on me for that one um but i totally think if you are looking to purchase it, go for it. They're super smart investment and they're super smart for the earth. Um, I definitely think that is a complete awesome effect to a fabulous product. Um, so yeah, that concludes my face halo review. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know if this helped in either persuading you to buy the face halo or if you have any other further questions. Yeah. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.